Guys, what's up? I got this in the mail today from Target. And I'm highly pissed off about it. I got the Buck Rogers 25th edition. They shipped it in this piece of shit. Flimsy. You know. Amazon does that sometimes. It pisses me off. Use a box. I mean, you got a box set, right? You ship it in that. It gets banged up. It's banged up here. I got a loose disc in there that's scratched. Uh, but this is the Buck Rogers in the 25th century complete collection. The Kino Lorber edition that just came out a few months ago. This one has some special features. If you got the last one, I did do a review on the the one that they put out. That was actually a region free product. They have audio commentaries for 10 selected episodes. By film and TV historian Patrick Jankwitz, author of the Buck Rogers in the 25th Century, a TV companion, audio commentary by film historian Steve Mitchell and Nathaniel Thompson, theatrical feature. Yeah, you got an interview with co-star Aaron Gray. I want to see that. Interview with actor Tom Christopher Hawk. With Tom Christopher, uh, who is Hawk. I guess I should have said it right. Nine minute special theatrical preview. Theatrical trailer, two radio spots. Uh, for the theatrical feature. Now, I saw this in the theater as a feature film. And this was in 1979. I love this, this film and I love the TV show. So, I had to get it. Uh, it's a double dipper for me, but I hope it holds up picture quality to like the last one because I really love the picture quality on the last. I'm trying to get this white background, but it's not uh, coming out too well. But anyway, let's open this up. Here's the here's the 89 minute film. Now this one came okay. It wasn't loose or anything. But uh, I tell you what, I, I get any kind of dent, scratch, loose disc, it's going back. So I got to take this back. I got to go through the hassle of returning it at the store. And then, uh, I don't know what I'll do. If I'll order from them. I like to order from them sometimes because, especially for, for this one, they had it. Same price as Amazon. And then I got the 5% off free shipping using my red card. So that was cool, you know. But here's what's stupid. Um, so, so there you got, uh, you got five, five discs. And I thought I was missing a disc. Here's the... That's cool. They got the list at least on the back list of the um, the list of each episode on the back. That's cool. But here's what pissed me off, right? Um, so I open this one up and I'm like, okay. So I got disc one. I'm going through the disc. See this damn thing? He's popping out. It won't hold. It won't hold in place. I keep popping it and it just pops right back out so that's going back dumbasses man they can never get it right the first time so anyway um so so i'm here at disc three and then i go to disc four there's no freaking disc come to find out I look back here right disc one disc two disc three so really you guys are going to put an empty spot and confuse customers i mean that, that was just laziness in my opinion they should have not had there's got to be a, a way i mean they should have just had this you know like you know one of those cases where the last disc was here and got rid of this double double disc thing 
but whatever. I mean, minor gripe, but that pissed me off because I thought I was missing a disc. But granted, this this is supposed to be empty according to this. So we're going to check out the, I'm going to check out the video quality. I'll try to give you guys, um, you know, a quick, a quick look. But I can't give you too long because you know how YouTube is. I don't want to go through the whole copyright damn thing and then have to do the fair use crap and all that. So I'll just give you a quick little glance of it and I'll give you my honest review on the comparison between this one. Let me get the other one so you guys can see the other one. So anyway, guys, this is the, the original one that I got. Um... So all this one had, let me check this. This had, um, this is a special feature, opening titles without narration. Opening, closing, textless titles, titles, isolated music and effects, audio tracks, bonus journey to Oasis, syndicated two-part version. I don't know if you call those special features. Um. Kind of weird i mean of course the isolated music and effects let me see what's on this oh, son of a bitch. It's a stretch. so so on this it doesn't have the isolated doesn't have the isolated music and effects audio track that's weird hmm you know what's really weird about this is it says Origin USA, but it says Blu-ray Region B. I'm I I did a review on this guys. This is Region Unlocked. This is this is not Region B. They really screwed up on that, but it is uh, totally unlocked. Um. Okay, the special features on this one. That they claim special features is theatrical version of the pilot episode in standard definition. Okay, that's the bit. This is the big reason I wanted to get this was because this is in uh, this is finally in HD. So that that was the part that was kind of disappointing, I guess, but. Uh, but yeah, you get opening titles without narration, open and closing, textless, uh, whatever, textless titles. End and opening sequences from two-part version of Awakening. Bonus, Flight of the War Witch feature length version in standard definition. I mean, really? Wait. Bonus, Flight of the War Witch. Feature length version, standard definition. Well, I don't know if that is. That's not a really special feature, is it? Let me see this other one here. Okay, Flight of the War Witch on the new one, part one and part two. So you basically get the whole one without the split. Well, big fucking deal. That's no big deal. But let's look at the discs on this region free one real quick because i'm curious to see how many discs there are i can't remember now this oh shit um as far as the kino lober lorber that's the artwork here i i really i really like that artwork better on the other one but we'll check the video quality sound see which one's better but I assure you guys, this is region unlocked. You can, I'll provide a link to my my review of this one in the uh, video description. You can check it out. I, I demonstrate that it is region unlocked. So, all right, guys, stay with me. I'll be right back with the video.
I'm just going to skip around. So we can just get an idea of what it looks like. I haven't viewed it myself, so hold on. Let me go to the next. All right, let's get a good idea of what it looks like. This is a uh, the widescreen HD version. So it looks really good. We're going to compare the other edition too, even though the other edition, I believe, is, a, is it in full frame? I don't know. I'll have to check that out. We'll put the other edition in after this. So we're just going to skip this, check it out. There are some specs in this I've already noticed. Doesn't look distracting at all, but every now and then I'm seeing a couple little specs. So they didn't clean it up perfectly, but it does look really good right now. Okay, let's skip another one. Go to the next one. Uh, let's go next. Let's go again. Yeah, see, I noticed uh, there there was a couple specs in there. I imagine it's probably pretty expensive to get every spec out of there, but this does look this does look great. Obviously, it's not going to be as good as like Star Wars, even though it's about the same time, but you know. All right, that was a brief, brief little flip through on that. Let's check out the other disc. I'm going to pause this. All right, guys, so this is the pilot version of the film. Man, the colors really look great in this. So we got to compare between the old edition and this. This really looks fantastic. Let me see how it sounds. Good plan. I know it can work. You convinced the council to suspend the sentence until we know the truth. All right, I'll try. All right, looks great. Looks absolutely fantastic. Looks great. Sounds great. Let's skip uh, another one. So everything looks great, guys. Let me put in the old edition that is region free, but even though it states it's region B, it is region free. Okay, here's the this one. What's he saying now? You don't want to know. You guys go back. I can put up with whatever's out there. It helps me to talk. Look like the other I don't know. I mean this one this looks good. I mean I mean, the quality looks good in the episodes. So anyway, guys, um, 
I'm recommending the Kino Lorber version for sure. You just can't go wrong with that. You get uh, more special features. You get uh, obviously the feature film in high def for the first time. So I just want to give you a little um, idea for the people that have had the other version. If it's worth upgrading, in my opinion, it's a double dip. All right, guys, so my battery is getting ready to run out on this camera. So real quick, you get an 18-minute interview with Erin Gray. So that's what she looks like now. So this would be highly worth Put me under contract. Um, checking out. Started having me do guest appearances. I haven't. I mean, this is the first time seeing her... Uh, at this age, uh, so it's it's wild. It's sad though, because people are immortalized on film, and then when you see them, it's like, what happened? Yeah, you know, it sucks getting old. But hey, that's Aaron Gray. This should be an interesting piece. It's 18 minutes and 30 seconds. So. I would uh, I would pick it up for that. Because I thought it was going to be like a probably a five minute interview. And uh, let's see how long this one is real quick. Hawk. This is only nine minutes, but. Let's see, let's see if it shows what he looks like. There he is. All right, not too bad. So that's nine minutes. So yeah, great special features. Not a, not a ton, but definitely worth your while. I hope you enjoyed this review. Yeah, and um, hope it gives you a little idea if you want to pick up this upgraded Blu-ray edition. So. Thanks for watching, guys. My battery's dying. Please subscribe to the channel. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.